Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have all the tools for you right here. Before we get into NBA action for December the 26th, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP club section where you have all the tools that you need. So let's take a look at the games here. There's a full slate of games. We're going to take a look at five of them for the day after Christmas, Sunday, December the 26th. And we're going to scroll down through here. There's plenty of games in the tap. And we're going to first look at the Philadelphia 76ers and the Washington Wizards. Philadelphia and Washington are deadlocked in the Eastern Conference standings. Both teams come in ice cold up. Philadelphia is 2-4 and four over their last six. And the Wizards are also 2-4 and four over their last six games. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you will see that Washington has a narrow edge of 13-12 to 12 over Philadelphia. If you take a look at the totals predictor, you can see that Philadelphia is trending in games under the line, Washington trending in games over the line. In that scenario, I tried to avoid the over-under, but in this case here, if you look at in the last game, um, Philadelphia was under and Washington was also under, so I have a, a hunch to go with the under in this case. And if you look at the score prediction, Philadelphia by a 115 to 107 margin with nearly 72% level of confidence. If you look at the volatility oscillator to see how stable the two teams have been, how consistent are they performing according to their favorite underdog status, you see Philadelphia is at plus 7, while Washington is at plus 2. Philadelphia is performing more consistently, more stably. I do like Philadelphia to win this one, perhaps going into overtime to do so. Toronto and Cleveland. The Cavaliers are 4th in the Eastern Conference and host the 10th seeded Raptors. You can see that the Cavaliers are burning hot down. They have had won their previous five, and then, and then they are coming off a 10-point loss in Boston. While the Raptors are average up, they are 4-2 and two over their last six games. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you see Cleveland is at plus 28, while Toronto is on up and downward trend. Now they're back on the downward trend. They're at plus 12. The score prediction has Cleveland by 4, 116 to 112, but only 30% level of confidence in the prediction. So take a look at this as we get closer and closer to game time to see what's happening there. If you look at the total predictor, you can see that Toronto is trending in games under the line, and Cleveland is doing the same. And the way I'm looking at this is that Cleveland is the better team right now. They are they are playing a much better basketball. In general, I like Cleveland to win this game at home and to cover. Detroit and San Antonio. Here's a game with Detroit having the worst record in the NBA at 5 and 25. They are 1 and 5 over their last six. They did beat Miami by 10, which is a little bit of a surprise at home. Um, not a surprise, they are of dead status. Uh, San Antonio is average status. They are 11th in the Western Conference at 12 and 18, and they are in 3 and 3 over their last six. You can see that the over-under showing that, um, let's see, Detroit was under in the last two games, San Antonio under in the last game, and over in four out of their last six. I don't really like the over-under on this one here. Um, let's take a look at the power rankings indicator. Not a surprise, Detroit <laughs> zero. They've been zero since the beginning of the month, and San Antonio is at plus seven. The stability factor, not a surprise here also, that Detroit is extremely stable at plus 18. Doesn't mean they're good, just means that they're consistent. Most of the time, consistently losing. And I see that as the case again this time. San Antonio will win by double digits. New Orleans and Oklahoma City. This is a good matchup, actually. Even though the two teams are near the bottom of the Western Conference, both teams are playing well lately. You see both teams are on three-game winning streak. Burning hot status. Um... If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see the upward trend for both teams with Oklahoma City at plus 11 and New Orleans at plus 10. In total predictor, you can see that the Thunder are, have played in games under the line five out of the last six and New Orleans three out of the last six. I like the under in this one. The score predictor has the New Orleans by eight points, 110 to 102 with 53% level of confidence in the prediction. The stability factor, are they consistently performing according to their favorite underdog status? Well, yes, they are. New Orleans at plus 10, Oklahoma City at plus 9. 
I really like this matchup, even though, again, it's two teams at the bottom of the conference. It's going to be a good game. I do like the game to go under, and I do like New Orleans to come away with a road win. Indiana and Chicago, Denver and the Clippers. This is perhaps the game of the week. Well, not the week necessarily, but for the weekend. Um, I like this one. Two teams in the Western Conference battling it out. Denver enters eighth in the conference, and Los Angeles is currently fifth. See, the Nuggets are average down status. They have lost their last game, and they are 3-3 three three over the last six. While the Clippers are average status, they are winners of three out of their last six, and they just broke a recent three-game losing streak with a 16-point road win against Sacramento. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that Denver is at plus 20, while the Clippers are at plus 17. The total predictor, you can see Los Angeles has trended in games under the line in th their last three. They're under. And Denver was under in their last game. But the score prediction has a pretty high scoring contest, 118 to 112 in favor of the Clippers with 55% level of confidence. I am going to go against that. I believe this will be more of a lower scoring game. I like the under in this one. As far as the uh, stability factor, let's see here how stable the two teams have been. You can see that the Clippers are at plus 8. Denver is at plus 3. The Denver was more consistent there for a while. They were at plus 7, but recently they have not been very consistent according to their favorite underdog stats. I do like the Clippers to win this one at home with a uh, margin of about 6 to 10 points. Again, again, the line is not yet set, so we don't know what that is. But again, I like the Clippers to win by anywhere between 6 and 10 points. So there you have it. Those are the games for December 26th. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and we will see you next time.